Coach Ron Rivera says Keekley is trending toward being available against the Bucks on Sunday, although he still needs full clearance. And Cowboys defensive end Demarcus Lawrence getting into the clothing business. He posted this photo of a sweatshirt he gave to quarterback Dak Prescott. It says, Tank is coming for you with cartoon drawings of Carson Wentz, Kirk Cousins, and Eli Manning. Tank, of course, being Lawrence's nickname. When asked about the gift, Dak said he's glad he isn't on the shirt. Lawrence, of course, second in the NFL with nine and a half sacks. And so I ask you, Nate, what am I going to get first? A hoodie from Tank or a toe drag swag shirt? <laughs> That's what I want to know. What's going to happen first? You'll get a toe drag swag shirt. I promise. It's up in my dressing room. I'm going to send it after the show. I'm going to text you. And then you send me the address. But I, that got me thinking, though. I think I'm working on that Trill Selva shirt. What do you think? Keeping oh. it Trill? Keeping it ah, Trill. I like that. Ah. I like that. All right, Will. We'll no check talking. back in with you later, all right? <laughs> all right, thanks, Nate. All right, one of the best in the business to now one of the best young players in the business. He's one of the NFL's best young linebackers. He is 2016 second team all pro. He led the Texans with 129 tackles last season, and he's leading them again this year. Welcome Texans linebacker Bernardrick Ken Woo! McKinney to yeah. the building. How you doing, Bernardrick? I'm doing all right, man. Good, man. I appreciate uh, you joining us. Cisco color. Oh, yeah. We were just talking about right Cisco there. on the show, and you got the, the blonde tips right there. What's the inspiration right there? You know, talk about, talk about that. I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to try something new. I'm always trying to invent some new things, and I just uh, decided to dye my hair blonde last year, and I just stuck with it. Um, ain't no telling what I might do next to my hair, but I, I just enjoy doing the blonde and just stuck with it. Okay, speaking of uh, what you might do next, I don't know, but I know what you did last week. Instead of uh, being on vacation like most guys would do during their buy, you, you were at Kingwood Asylum Haunted House scaring customers. What? Uh, we have an actual <laughs> picture of what you were wearing. So tell us a little bit more about the reaction you were getting. What? From, that's crazy. Uh, from the people you were scaring. Did anybody even know that was you? <laughs> Um, what are you? Everybody seen me when I first walked up, and uh, I had some, uh, some a certain type of shoes on, and I guess me being so tall, the uh, the whole costume didn't cover my whole my whole my, my shoes or whatever. And everybody was like, "Oh, that's the linebacker, that's the linebacker." But some of the people <laughs> did, and I was just having a blast and just uh, decided to put some on and just have fun. That is that has always been a dream of mine to scare people at a haunted house. Yeah, because I don't scare anybody, so I'm going to be amazing. Uh, <laughs> Bernardrick, you, I was looking at your Instagram earlier this morning, there's a picture of a fan who got a tat of your autograph and your jersey number on their arm. How did that go down? Wow. And do you what? feel, what do you feel when you see something like this? Did you know this was happening? Did you try to talk them out of it? Or were you <laughs> like, do you feel somewhat like responsible? What's the anxiety level when something like this happens? It was uh, actually at the haunted house, and this uh, guy, he was in costume. He was like, hey, man, let me get your autograph. And I was like, where? And he was like, on my arm. And I was like, uh, you know it's going to wash, uh, wash off tomorrow. And he was like, dude, I'm getting a tattoo on it. My brother's a tattoo artist. And I was like, wow, for real? And I was like, <laughs> okay. And I just did my autograph, and that was, that was it. Well, you better not change teams, or otherwise that guy might have to go Ooh. back. To, I mean, you are—you have to be a Texan for life now. Change, Bernard, change, change numbers. Right? Change numbers. Like, I'm going to change my number this year. Don't do what you do to your hair, to your numbers. Stay there for this guy's sake. All right. Uh, a few weeks ago, let's get on the field because I love watching you play every week. And a few weeks ago, Bill Belichick called you an outstanding football player, and mm. also used the word unique. And Bill Belichick does not shed a lot of praise on other players often, but for you, he went out of his way to do so. So, what's your reaction? When you hear not only an opposing coach, but Bill Belichick speak so glowingly about your play on the field on Sundays. I mean, it felt awesome hearing it from a, a coach like that winning Super Bowls. It, it always feels good to hear uh, good things about yourself. And uh, I mean, I just take the coaching. Uh, my coaches put me in a great spot to make plays. Uh, we got a great defense alignment. They keep a lot of offense alignment off me. And I just run around and just uh, have fun and just play my style of football. Now, oftentimes the biggest hits you take are on the football field, but sometimes they're off the field as well. Brian Cushing suspended. Boom. J.J. Watt, Whitley Mer Merciless, they're out for the season. Boom. Boom. How do you respond as a guy that's now looked at as one of the young leaders on this team, and how do you approach moving forward with your two defensive leaders out? 
Uh, just next man up, just trying to be a leader, a vocal leader, and just try to get everybody going every play, just try to bring more juice and excitement to the field and just try to get everybody on the same page so we can just uh, execute at a high level. But like I said, just next man up and just just my part, just trying to get everybody to play together. And if a bad play happens, just try to try to bring everybody together and just keep moving forward. Mr. McKinney, you've been around some impressive quarterbacks in your career. You played with Dak uh, in college at Mississippi, and now you're playing with Deshaun Watson. What is the biggest difference between the two of them? Um, I mean, I can't say too much about the quarterback position, uh, but, I mean, both of them brought, brought juice. Uh, Dak brought juice to the uh, Mississippi State team. Deshaun is also doing the same thing, bringing juice to the team and just making plays for us and just uh, giving the defense uh, more excitement and just make us, I mean, help us go out on the field and just have the juice just to have fun. Okay, but then if you're doing this haunted house thing and you're going to scare people, which quarterback would you choose to go with mm. you? Oh. I would definitely choose Deshaun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, now look, it's been an amazing ride for Deshaun, and even with the injuries, you guys continue to put a good product on the field on defense, but now you're going in to a very hostile environment. You guys are going into Seattle to face the Seahawks. All the 12s, all that noise, you got a rookie quarterback. What's the message here coming off the bye? We're going into Seattle. What can you tell us what's going on in there in Houston and what you guys are discussing? I mean, we're just going to play Houston style of football. The coach is doing a great job of getting us ready, uh, practice, preparation, watch a film. And we're just going to uh, show up there ready to play and just uh, play four quarters um, of Texas football and just fly around and have fun. Bernard Jerk McKinney with Te Houston Texans. Good luck to you uh, on that road game in week eight. Love having you on the show. And uh, we'll talk Thank to you, you soon. We'll say bye. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. He's a beast. Big fan of him on the show. Really good player, great hair, and a cool tattoo on that fan. I know, right? I like the, I'm going to show up in a white t-shirt. Yeah. Bold, bold. It's not bold. It's like perfectly like, oh, good morning football, white tee. Super chill. It's I've super chill. I've got a game, I've got a game like on it. Sunday. I've got Love business it. to take care of. All right, coming up, the NFC North might go through Minnesota, but the Vikings, mm. they're going to still need to win in London, guys. Listen, that run defense for Cleveland is 